I know this video came out a bit quicker than you may have expected, but uh, now I have the free time to do this, so I can actually make videos come out very quickly. Anyway, enjoy the video. Hello and welcome back to the part to part three of my uh, car conversion tutorial. Today we're actually gonna export our model and set up all its VOT data. So go back to your car toolkit. <coughs> Open your uh, car model again, uh, make sure you choose the correct one, of course. Go to export and change car name here, so do it this, Do it so that's what you want it to be, let's say in this case 996 GT2. However, if let's say you are doing a, a SL65 for, for example, for uh, Need for Speed World, this is SL65 and so on. So now select your config, in this case uh, 996 GT2, the same name as my model. And then just, pre just press this uh, geometry uh, button. Now, if you're like me, you would have made a mistake of course, because I make mistakes all the time. So, uh, let me just solve this one real quick. There we go. So. <coughs> There we go, so I made a mistake here, so it should be UC window left front, so first it's the direction, and then it's uh, the other one, so I say it's left in, and then rear, for example. I had messed this one up, so don't make the same mistake. Anyway, here we go, now it's actually exported, here is our geometry. So, what you want to do is now is take your textures and your geometry and make a new folder call it the same thing as you put in the car toolkit, so in this case 96 GT2 and then put it inside of the folder. I'm actually gonna do one little thing off camera because I have I have some upscale textures for, for this car specifically so I'm gonna get those real quick so uh, so yeah that's what I'll do first. Okay so I did so I replaced those textures now go into your uh, folder for the game and uh, paste the folder here. So there we go, now we have 96 GT2 in, on, in the cars folder. Now in the case of uh, undercover there's also damage which is for as you can probably guess the damage. So uh, copy this from another car. In this case I'm going to copy it from the GT2 997 in that's already in the game. So I'll do I'll just do literally this. Then we name it to 996 GT2. Name has to match by the way. And then what you can do is go into VOT edit and then set up all of its uh, VOT data so that it can actually appear in game. So so when you're doing that, uh, there's a few things you have to do. So you have to do, uh, okay, I mean Need for Speed World, out, but that doesn't matter. Uh, firstly, you have car over here. This is some generic info. Then it's car parts. This is what determines what kind of parts are you gonna be on the car. So that like spoilers and stuff like that. Car tuning, this is the actual performance data of the car, how it's going to behave in game. Car audio, this is the sound for the car. Then uh, e-car, that's visual, how high it looks visually, how long, the, how long the wheelbase is visually. Then front end, this is for the, this is for when you're in the front end, aka in the menus and you look in the car dealership. This is to determine price and stuff like that, and then finally P vehicle, which is kind of like the base for base for all of it. Now I usually like to start with P vehicle because uh, I find it much simpler to just start with it and then just add on to P vehicle instead of doing it later. I, I don't know why, but I just find that much simpler. Anyway, copy any node in this case. I like copying from uh, cars that are the most similar to what I'm doing. In this case, literally the 997 GT2. So 996 GT2. We go here, and uh, this is the data from the GT2. I'm gonna change this here or from now to 996 GT2. This is for front end and for model. We have collision and visual. Change this to again 996 GT2 in this case, and so on. Let's do this for everything. And so performance data and car audio you can do 
what you want to do with it. What I what I will do is uh, I would uh, I will uh, of course make new performance data because I kind of have to. I also have some sounds to do for it. But anyway, let's if you go to car in this case, the it only has one kit, only the white body. So this is something I'm going to show how to do because you're going to have to do it. So go into art and in this case remove this and this so it's just 11 and 1 so these are all the kits it's actually going to use and once again let's change a bunch of all the stuff that's let's say in this case pur underscore now 11 underscore gt2 underscore 08 to 996 gt2 that's kind of what it is for performance data I'm um, gonna ask my, my friend Lex Solo to actually make a tutorial on that because he's much better at doing that than me. I am kind of eh, with it, so I'm gonna ask him to do a tutorial, sort of as to what most of the stuff does, because he's definitely much much more competent than me. But that's kind of that's actually what it is. Just make sure you s sort of stick to the naming scheme for everything so that it works. Let's say in this case. We'll copy this. Let's see this one here. PR underscore 911 underscore GT2 underscore 08 underscore track. In this case, it's going to be 996 GT2 underscore track. So it's still going to be track. It's just going to be the name of <coughs> of the car that we, that we have already given. And then for the sounds, I'm actually going to show what it's going to use because that's fun, you know. I'm, I'm sure people would actually be sort of interested as to what I'm going to use. So I'm going to copy the notes for, for the 911 GT2, do the same thing again. And also, I'm going to do a thing that I found recently it's the fact that you can use more than one note. That is pretty, pretty nice to know. As it's that's definitely gonna help out. So there we go, three different nodes. Now this is what's gonna use upgrade and here it's gonna use it's gonna be this. It's gonna be what was stock on the on the first node, but now this is not stock. Then we're gonna go up here. I'm gonna change this to a to this, a custom sound from uh from Need for Speed Heat, the GTORS sound. Anyway, let me show you also the front end uh, e-car as well. No, I won't be doing too much right now. I will just show you what it is. Here again, nine and six. As for price, set it to whatever you want. So this will be a slightly slower GT2. I'll make it like one hundred, one hundred thirty-five thousand. Everything else is gonna stay the same though. The e car. As for e car, I'll see. I, I can copy from the 996 Turbo S I did. I can copy some stuff, which is good. If you're doing cars that are very similar dimensions to ones that already exist, you don't have to do much with front end, uh, front end uh, e car. But anyway, this is all the stuff in e car. You're gonna fiddle with them and see what it, we'll see what they do. Hopefully, they end up with the result that you actually like. Anyway, the last thing you have to do actually is uh, go here and actually uh, make it so the car uses these new nodes so let's say in audio we are gonna go down to here I'm gonna I'm not just gonna use this so I can copy it directly replace these now this is where it's gonna be different actually compared to what people would usually do there you go, we have two nodes actually Right at the end, two different nodes at the end, so that's 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 also that's very nice to have. And then we're also gonna replace car tuning, and then the rest is actually already good. In the case of some cars, let's say they would usually be using super a supercharger, but in your case, you want to use turbo. You are gonna have to change the turbo SFX. Thankfully, basing off of, basing it off of other cars is very it's pretty much the best way you can do this. So anyway, this is basically what you have to do in VOT edit. Of course, uh, I'll, I'll now finish up everything that I, that I have to finish. So let's say 
the performance data and stuff like that and then I'll actually go in game and show you the car so I uh, guess so I guess we'll wait till then since I'm a massive player but didn't record proper footage for this part of the video so but instead I do have some footage of me driving and showcasing a car sound so uh, I guess you can watch that instead Yeah, once again I did not record a proper ending because I'm uh, again not the smartest person on the earth but uh, I hope you enjoyed this big ass tutorial uh, and leave a like please please leave a like man I need likes I need likes I need likes